So hello and welcome back to the North City Career Mode. So we're currently 14th in the league, of course still on track to our mid-table finish. So I'll probably play these three, and then once the tables pan out a little more, I'll probably sim Brighton Watford, but that'll depend, and I'll probably play the Everton game. So six games this episode, so that'll get us up to 13 games done for the whole season. So here's the first match of today's episode. We're at... At Cara Road versus Aston Villa. So going to the Villa game, I was reasonably confident. Early change drum again, laying it off, and then Trezeguet blasting it right against the side, netting pretty close call. So Villa got another chance, just pretty reasonably straightforward play right by Tim Krul. And just as if it couldn't get worse, Villa are in again, one on one. In there, they do capitalize. 26 minute. 2-0. <laughs> so, I mean, comeback isn't really off the cards, but I mean, not really looking past a draw, draw at this point. So yeah, then Christoph Zerman kind of did his best and gave up a pen, but it's okay. The CPU missed it, like they always do. So yeah, John again with actually pretty good volley as we go 3-0 down. So yeah, not ideal whatsoever. So Zlatan had this chance laying it off to Duda, Duda coming on, and then Duda nailing it in the top left corner. So good, strong goal. Looks like it would just be a consolation goal with only five minutes left in the match. And yeah, that was about it. So yeah, two consecutive 3-1 losses. Not not ideal at all. Oh, and just make it worse, we are one point from the relegation zone. Probably should have mentioned that too. Um, so yeah, we really got to turn around this episode. One way I think we can do that is we keep up our other, the formation we changed to late last game right after we scored. And I'm thinking of playing Duda and Gondwozi. I know Duda's an attacking mid, but he can also play center mid. That's kind of a center mid role. We still have our attacking mid and our winger. So I do like this formation as of now. Um, until Pookie returns, then we'll go back to our 4, 4 one, two, one, two, 2 wide. So as of now, this is our formation. So Timu Puki is back from his injury. So that is really good. Great news. I don't think he'll be able to play in the next game. So that formation is talked about. It looks like that's still on, but really excited for the Zlatan Puki partnership to be reunited. So starting off the Burnmouth game, I was reasonably confident about this one. I mean, Burnmouth, of course, a lower team as they had chance. Liverpool only Harry Wilson coming in. And then Christoph Zimmerman lining up another pen, just adding to his tally. Josh King stepped up. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I expect him to miss. But somehow, I mean, that's the pen that's going to get us after the CPU missing all these. And that's the one. I didn't even think it went in at first. Zlatan cutting in not long after Zlatan. Oh, come on, he's definitely not going to miss that, and the Swede strikes back and levels it at the Vitality Stadium. But then Vermouth had another chance, but Tim Krul with the nice, solid catch. So Cantwell had it on the wing, Cantwell setting into Zlatan, he's past the defenders, and Borg just with the save right above his head. Zlatan laying it off to Madison, and he is brought down for Simon Francis, and it's going to be a straight red card to the burn with the veteran. Zlatan steps up for the free kick. He squares up. And then what does he do? He scores my third free kick of FIFA 20. I've had probably 500 hours in three free kicks. And we've just done one to put ourselves in the lead right before halftime on the Nord City career mode. As Zlatan gets his eighth Premier League goal of the season. Absolutely mad. 38 years old. But no sign of stopping whatsoever. So yeah, that was really it for the match. And about what I said about Zlatan stopping me in the career mode. And there are recent speculations of his injury and best wishes to him. He's had such a legendary career and it'll be a pity to see it end now. So yeah, best wishes to Zlatan in this unprecedented time for him. So really big three points that'll send us back up to kind of where we were, just a little better. So it turns out the SM Villa game didn't even matter because we're head on. <laughs> so we have United next, definitely going to play that. I mean, not really expecting much, just playing like the worst team in the league, really. And so looking forward to that. I mean, we're in good form, three goal win. So Team Fuki will fit in nine days. So he's still a doubt for the United game, but for the... Second half of this episode looks like Pookie will be back. Until the United game, Mazen had an early chance and just rifled against the post. So then Bruno Fernandez just missing the diving header. Really close game early on. Laying it off the 1-2, but Madison hitting the post a second time. Madison 
up against Romero, and Romero coming out with a save. So yeah, it bounced off Zlatan's nose, and Zlatan was offside, so that's why it got called. I mean, if it wasn't there, if he wasn't there, it wouldn't have mattered. Romero still pushed it out. Lote sending it in, but Cruel with the aerial punch to clear the chance away. So here it is. United, not very good defending. United coming in, the deflection off Cruel, and then... Williams scoring the worst goal after such a solid game. The worst goal to put United in the lead. Really frustrating at this point. This is just when the controllers just stop existing. I mean, we were in this game really solid. And for two cheap goals like that, just really frustrating. And that's how the game would end. So very unfortunate loss at home. So it's probably the most frustrating game of the year. A scoreline that did not represent the match whatsoever. 2-0. We do not deserve to lose that, I don't think, at all. However, we should have a reasonably straightforward November. I'm probably going to send the Brighton one. Yeah, so Brighton are actually in 8th. So Watford are in 17th and Brighton are actually in 8th. So I'm probably going to actually flip it. I'm going to play the Brighton one and I'll send the Watford one. So Team Pookie has recovered from his injury and we are back to our ideal squad with the exception of Ben Godfrey. He's still out, but I mean still really strong. So going on to the Brighton game, Pookie right on his return up against a goalkeeper who will be David Button as Pookie blares it over the crossbar. David Button also knows everyone's backup fantasy goalkeeper. Don't lie, I know you have him. Todd Cantwell on the left wing, he cut across, he opposite cut in, Todd Cantwell around the Brighton defense, in there, cutting in on the near post as Todd Cantwell registers his first goal in the Premier League season, he's opened his account. So his left on point blank blasted past David Button as 2-0 as we enter the 42nd minute right before halftime. Cantwell with it, and Cantwell with the long shot, but just wide of Brighton's goal. Brighton did have a chance, but Tim Krul was able to meet it to keep his clean sheet. Timo Puki on his return. Timo Puki cutting in. Tight angle, but he will do it, blasting it against the side netting as he marks his return to the Premier League. When James Madison was in, dribbling around trying to find space and try to find the near post, but David Button pushing it out. I mean, Buendia on the right wing. Buendia cutting in, and what a strong header from Drimmick as we're running right here at the Amex for nothing as the substitute marks his appearance here. So Duda bring it down in a channel of the pitch. He could play an easy one too, which he does to Team Pookie, but not as straightforward as you would think. So as you can see, Pookie shot it. So Pookie takes a shot here. So it doesn't really touch a Brighton defender, and then you can see it bounces off the knee of David Button, then goes in the po to the net. So we're still around where we were after that 5-0 thrashing of Brighton, and then we have the Watford game, which we're going to sim, then the Everton game. So here's the squad for the Watford game. <laughs> really crossed my fingers, there's no injuries, and I don't really like some of the games, but I know I kind of have to to keep the career mode going, and also it's good too every once in a while, so, um, I mean, Watford haven't, I mean, they have half the points we do, so, I mean, if someone is twice as worse as us statistically, then they must be surprised to still a Premier League team, I mean, probably not for long, but... Let's just see. So here we are against Watford. Will we come out? They're on bad form. We're in good form. Yes! Oh my god, Pookie's hurt again. It's the second sim in a row he's been injured. We might have to go back to our old formation. So, good, I think. Is that our first sim win? It might be. But how long is the Pookie injury? That's all I care about. He was literally just back. Okay, he's only out for two days. Another bruised elbow. That's like the second bruised elbow in a sim. And we're going to an international break. So, we'll have a nice, long break. Brilliant news as Ben Godfrey, um, not quite ready for first team yet, but he is on the men, so really great news. Looks like we're playing really good football on nice form, and the squads will come back, so pretty good point in this career mode. So we're up against Everton, they're in 6th place, and Brighton were in 8th, and um, so we're always going to be dethroning unlikely Europa League challengers in this episode, and this will be the final game for this episode. So the Everton game, Richarlson laying it off to Moise Keane. Moise Keane with it in his own box, and Richarlson with the point blank goal. Kind of cheeky. Ninth minute, so not over yet. I mean, early goal. Unfortunate, but not over. So then the goal scorer is sending it across to Moise Keane, of all people to score. Moise Keane. Moise 
Keene. Flynn didn't get much better with Charleston, who... That that's just a I'm sorry, and I'm a Liverpool fan. And I'm even knowing that was a brilliant goal. Come on, I mean we were kind of on the way to being out anyway. So I mean if if we're gonna go out, we might as well do it in that fashion. The so Madison got a yellow card for that. Then he got a yellow card for that. So yeah, he won't play the next game. He moved Pookie to get something back for us, which Pickford channels his inner world cup self to pull that one off and that will be it for the match so that's all for today's episode currently sitting in 12th so a bit of an improvement and i mean there's european dreams kind of over a bit of a gap i mean what's that six point gap um so probably not gonna work out wasn't really thinking about it anyway but i mean mid table finish definitely still on we're not really battling relegation anymore so that's a good sign in we have a really big episode next time around, probably going to be pretty long, 11 games, because we have our festive fixtures, of course, and we have a transfer special next episode, so next episode's going to be probably the biggest one of at least season one, so yeah, see you guys next time.